Hey, what's up, everybody? The Amazing here, bringing you a review. This time is with the Mafex Justice League Batman. So, let's get started. First and foremost, uh, after being delayed so many times, we finally got the figure, and it's really good. I try not to talk about things I don't have in hand, and I've been waiting for this because everybody wants the comparison. You've probably seen 8,000 other videos comparing it, and this is my version to it. So, yeah, let's get into it. First and foremost, I want to start by saying the suit design looks absolutely amazing. The face sculpt has been updated. The body itself, uh, while being somewhat different, is actually pretty much the same. So I really like the first Mafex Batman, so I'm really enjoying this one as well. Especially because it's a little bit better in proportions that I like. So, let's get started on the review. Real quick, I want to start by going over the face sculpt looking pretty much exactly like Ben Affleck in the mask. It looks really good. If you can actually, you'll see the light in the reflection. It looks really pretty much like him. The eyes are even done really well to where it looks like you can't really see them because he's the Dark Knight. And that's really dope. I like that a lot. I like that its ability to pretty much be film accurate. It's really good. And still, while looking great, like a pretty much comic book character, it's almost like uh, the 90s Batman. It's the feel of the 90s Batman updated, and I really, really am enjoying it. We have the gauntlets, which are pretty much the same as before. The proportion actually looks really so much better. So let's get into the articulation real fast. As far as the neck articulation goes, we have up, we have down. It can tilt left and right. It can actually turn 360 degrees. And it's a different neck peg as before, and I'll go over that later. The cape is the only down thing that I, that I don't like, although it has the, the, the faux leather look. The problem that I have is that it's not wired, but um, again, that maybe just acts for too much. Maybe they're not into that kind of thing. So that's fine. Uh, I've learned to just take it for what it is and just have things modded that if I didn't like it, I'll just change it. Now, as far as arm articulation goes, it's really nice. Uh, it's just like the previous Mafex Batman, and I really enjoy that. My only gripe that I have that is, isn't done better in this Batman than the previous one is that my arm pretty much pops out the socket very easily. And the reason why I want to talk about that is because, as you can see, there are a lot of stress marks already in my Batman. So that's something that, uh, you know, it's a little bit of a downer, but it's not something I can't get over because it looks absolutely stunning. It functions really well. It's just something you have to worry about. There's bicep swivel. The arms are double jointed. There's a lot of muscle in there, so you just be a little careful. But this is about as far as you go. So you can actually defend yourself with this Batman, and it won't look bad. You can actually rotate the arms a little far in, and you can protect yourself against bladed weapons. The gauntlets have a nice brown tint to it. They're really, really nice. So... As far as waist articulation goes, you can go all the way around pretty much, both left and right. You can go about this far down. You can go not very far back because, as you can see, I just took it apart. Not really an issue, though. I've learned to just, you know, be cool. And you can actually wiggle a little bit side to side. The belt is on there really tight, unlike the SHF one, which had major issues. Mine fell off. But, again, it's not something I worry about because when you have lower ab crunch, ah, again, the stress marks on mine. I just have a bad one, so it's fine. But um, as you can see here, you can actually rotate in several sections. So you'll be able to get a ton of articulation out of this Batman, which is really nice. Then you still, just like the previous Batman, you have the drop-down leg method. Really nice. There's thigh swivel to add to that. Really nice. And it just overall, it's a nice, clean, slick design. I'm really, really enjoying this. So your leg can go about this far up and about this far out. So you can't really go too far out, not without doing the leg thigh rotation. And the legs are double jointed, and there's tons of ankle pivot on this. The ball joint is amazing. There's actually toe pivot as well. So you can actually uh, have Batman sit Indian style and learn from Rajah Ghul if you really feel like it. But otherwise, posing shouldn't be an issue. So let's do some quick posing and show off what you can do with Batsy. <clears throat> so as you can see, almost immediately... I can get him into a bat-like fighting stance, braced off the style that's done in the movie, and I love it. Just like with any Mezco Batman, just like with any, any SHF Batman, uh, they're very easy to pose, and that's something I really, really enjoy. So this Batman is actually right up my alley of enjoying. It has the looks, it has the field, feel. It has the feel. <laughs> and the only thing I'm actually has a gripe about is the wired cape, which isn't wired. And the fact that mine is covered in stress marks, which allow it to be a little loose very easy over time. Cape knocked it down. One thing I do want to add is that the cape is actually a little heavy, so just be aware of that. But Batman overall, looking stunning. So real quick, I want to go over the accessories, hands, and things like that, now that we've covered articulation. So he does come with an alternative head, and this head is pretty much him uh, 
frowning, growling, whatever it is you want to choose to do. It's a good look. I like it. Head sculpt just pops in, pops out really easy. Then you have two open palms. These are more relaxed action palms, which you can use for like throwing batterings and things like that. They are hands for holding weapons. And this is going to be his grapple gun or his EMP gun, whichever one you choose to. I'm going to get into that right now. So real quick, they give you this uh, grenade launcher like EMP gun. I don't know what to call it because pretty much in Justice League, Batman was all over the place using guns. And as we all know, I am furthest thing from a gun enthusiast. So, uh, yeah. Real quick, you want to rotate this hand on. And my, whoop, I'm having a little bit of trouble, so let me just swap that out real fast. So, there we go. So you can put the hand on. Voila. So the hand goes on really well. It actually fits in really tight and really well. Then we have another hand. This is for being on vehicles or things like that or holding your grapple gun. It actually holds in really well. So this actually holds really, really well. This is done really well. It's actually better than the SHF one, which you don't have to worry about dropping any small or tiny parts. It's already just implied on there, so that's good. We have more open hands it's for holding weapons with two hands, as you can see here. Then we have battering hands. These are for holding your batterings. And you get three batterings, but I only took one out because I don't like dropping and losing small parts. So you can do it this way. Nice, cool battering. You can hold it this way. Depending on how you're going to throw it, dimension-wise. And just hands for holding things in general. And I believe that's for this flash grenade. See? Not wrong. <laughs> for once, I got right in the first try. So real quick, uh, this is really dope. I love this Batman. Uh, will it be my go-to definitive Batman? Not sure. Let's see how I feel when I take photos. But as of right now, it's really an A+. plus. It's magnificent. I'm overlooking the whole... Uh, QC issue thing because I know that's well known for Mafex. So at this point, if you can't get over it, there is no point in even complaining about it. You either move forward or you don't. You have to choose to. Uh, the price point for this figure is pretty much like 80 bucks though. So for those of you who are trying to worry about why the price hike, I don't know why either. Maybe it's the cost of the likeness. Maybe it's because they went back to the drawing board and trying something new. To me, it doesn't matter. It's a good Batman. And to me, it's worth its price tag. So I'm really enjoying it. Real quick, though, I do want to point out something that I pointed out already on my Instagram, so you'll probably be seeing this a second time, is that uh, what you can do is pop the head off. If you have bought the previous Kai Studios Batman head uh, from Mafex, oh, well, sorry, his previous uh, third-party head from Mafex, uh, what I did was, and I popped this out real easy, what I did was I bought the Kai Studios head and peg for the previous Mafex, and what I did was I went right under... I pop this in. Now, I like showing this off because this was a, a really big deal for me. This was actually really dope because I was scared that they would change the pegs. And I was right. They did. But it still works for the Kai Studio stuff because Kai's a genius. And shout out to him for this. But uh, I got to make that rest easy like I did in the, in the photo. But overall, the peg works and it fits. I just got to fix the covering. But as you see, his Ben Affleck head and pegs still work for this. You just got to refix that. But um, I was really excited for this because now I can still use it in photos. I didn't want it to be an outdated body or a Batman. I still wanted to be able to use that. So I find that pretty dope. I wasn't scared to just uh, play around with my figure. Real quick, I'm going to fix this up and then we're going to do some size comparisons. The things that you guys like the most, you know? Actually, you don't like that the most. You don't care for that. Or at least I don't think you do. Let me fix this cape up and voila, we got the bats. Oh, yeah, I'm the bed man. <clears throat> Let's get him nice, cool, clean. Let's drop you in the background a bit. Real quick, we're going to compare him to a bunch of other Batman first and then compare him to a bunch of other stuff. So this is his previous iteration, which at this point, it looks uh, pretty bad and outdated now. And this was actually a really fun Batman that I had. I used this Batman for a long time before uh, moving on to a different Batman. So as you can see, he's actually a little bit smaller. He's proportioned better. And overall, it's just, yeah. Then we have the Justice League Batman from SHF, which has a good cape, and it looks good, but when you compare it to these two, he looks like absolute trash. So, of course, he's looking the worst out of all of them. SHF had one job, and they did it, but did they do it too well compared to these guys? No, they didn't. So they're going to take an L on this one. It's as simple as that. Then we're going to compare it to the Mezco Batman, which is not the same suit, but 
if you can picture them ever doing it, you know what they'd get because their Batman was really just as equally good. So as you can see here, the Justice League one actually scales really well with Mezco figures, which is really dope. And I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, this figure is actually really dope. I like it. And I look forward to uh, taking photos with it. I really am. Then we have a Marvel Legends Black Panther, which is Marvel Legends scale to compare. So the Mafex stuff is actually really good in scale with Marvel Legends. It works really well with articulated icons, ninjas. Really excited for this. Ninjas and Batman go hand in hand. So here we are next to the SHF Wonder Woman, which I think is a really nice scale. I mean, she's supposed to be an Amazon and be taller, but we're talking about the movie stuff. So there's no real size comparison for that. Here we are next to the Mafex Wonder Woman. Size-wise, pretty good. They both are equally just as good. Real quick, we're going to compare it to an SHF Kamen Rider. So Batman's actually pretty, he pretty much scales well with everyone. Like, I like this a lot. I like when it scales well and I don't have to force perspective a little too much. Mafex Joker. And I chose this one over the suited body because it just happened to be closer. So, assume me. Oh, wow. It scales really well. <clears throat> so it looks like they're learning from their scaling issues. And last but not least, uh, I'm going to compare it to the Mezco Deathstroke and my Custom Bane. And the reason why I'm using Custom Bane is because uh, it's a Storm Collectibles body. So I figured that's a good comparison for the Storm Collectibles stuff. Shout out to Storm. Got a real MVP, y'all. So, yeah. I like the way this looks. It compares well with everything. In the meantime, guys... I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you found this informative. Uh, I probably will be. I don't know how I feel about reviews right now, but I do want to add that I may be quitting reviews. We'll see what happens. Um, it's just a really time consuming. I just don't know if I can do it and always be the first one or just even have the time to do it. Like at this point, I'm already by the time you guys watch this, I'll already be away to do other stuff. So we'll see what happens. But um, I'm going to contemplate and think on that. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it informative. Hope most of all you guys are being good and doing good. And for real, be good and do good. Don't fake the funk. You got to do it. And lastly, but most importantly, drink your water. Keeps you healthy. Later, guys.